Pythagoras the Teacher, from Samos to Metaponum, by Julia Minicucci, adapted by Soror Mary Jones. The philosophers of ancient Greece were the first documented inquirers in classical Europe into the workings of the world and how things work. They were skeptical about religious explanations for natural phenomena and sought explanations through personal experience and deep reflection. Of course, after some 2,500 years, it can be difficult to understand the terminology they used in its original meaning. For that, one needs to place oneself in the minds of those distant philosophers and also understand the times in which they lived. This fascinating, though academic, approach is beyond the scope of this article about Pythagoras, who is one of the most renowned philosophers of the ancient world. More famous nowadays for his mathematical theorem, this article gives readers an insight into a philosophy that shaped the world as we know it today. Pythagoras was one of the shining lights of ancient Greek thought, whose teachings became the foundation of modern philosophical thought and who has influenced Rosicrucian teachings to this day. In the Aegean Sea, a short distance from the Ionian coast of Asia Minor, what is today Anatolia, or Asiatic Turkey, there is a remarkably fertile island called Samos. In classical antiquity, the island was a center of Ionian culture and luxury, renowned for its Samian wines and red pottery, called Samian ware by the Romans. At the time of the great Hellenic migrations, it received an Ionian population which traced its origin to Epidauros in the Argolis, not far from ancient Mycenae the capital of the Mycenaean civilization and home to Agamemnon of Homer's Iliad. Samus became one of the twelve members of the Ionian League. By the 7th century BCE, Samus had become one of the leading commercial centers of the Greek world. The early prosperity of the Samians seems largely due to the island's position near trade routes which facilitated the importation of textiles from the interior of Asia Minor and the north-south shipping routes. It boasted a flourishing economy based on wool and metalworking, but the Samians also developed an extensive overseas commerce. They helped to open up trade with the Black Sea cities and with Pharaonic Egypt and were credited with having been the first Greeks to reach the Straits of Gibraltar. About 535 BCE, when the existing oligarchy was overturned by the tyrant Polycrates, Samus reached the height of its prosperity. Its navy not only protected it from invasion, but ruled supreme in the Aegean waters. The city was beautiful with public works and its schools of sculptors, metal workers, and engineers achieved high repute. It had a famous sanctuary of Hera called the Heraion, which today is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Pythagoras was born in 580 or 572 BCE into a wealthy family. His father was Nasarcos, a gem engraver and merchant of precious goods from Tyre, and his mother was Pythias, of a high-born Samian family. The story is told of how Nasarcos, on a business trip to Delphi, with his wife who was pregnant but didn't know it, consulted the Pythian oracle about his forthcoming voyage to Syria. The oracle replied that his voyage would be profitable and that his wife was already pregnant and would give birth to a child who would surpass all others in beauty and wisdom. This child would be the greatest benefit to the human race 
in all aspects of life. When the child was born, they named him Pythagoras, meaning speaking like the Pythia. Pythagoras came to maturity just as the earliest Greek science or natural philosophy was developing in the nearby city of Miletus. And so, naturally, he was influenced by Milesian cosmology. During his lifetime, education was considered to be a form of spiritual initiation, and therefore, from the age of five, he was introduced to all the fields of knowledge. Coming from a wealthy family, he was sent to study under some great masters, such as the poet and musician Hermodemus of Samos, the philosophers Anaximander of Miletus and Bias of Priene, Pherigides of Syros, one of the seven sages of Greece who taught the immortality of the soul, and Thales of Miletus, that great depositary of ancient wisdom who recommended that Pythagoras travel to Egypt, the cradle of secret knowledge. At that time, Egypt was ruled by Pharaoh Amasis of the Sete period, or 26th dynasty, the last great ruler of Egypt before the Persian conquest. Amasis encouraged many Greeks to come to his land and be instructed in its ancient wisdom.